You guys got really good reviews, man. Well, we certainly try. Yeah. We work our butts off to, to do what we can. Yeah. All right, so I'm doing a pulled pork belly barbecue sandwich with a side of the mac and cheese. Man, I've already, I'm not going to lie, while I was waiting on the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but while I was waiting on the um, the sandwich to come on out, dude came out, I guess because they about to close or whatever. Man, he came out and gave me a rib. You see, I already took a bite. Man. He got like this honey glaze sauce on there. And this was free. He gave me this and some uh, banana pudding for free. I don't even like banana pudding. It was hidden. Had the crust on there. I don't even waste no meat. Pause. But man. 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 Look at the ribs. See them? He was like, he said his, his old black lady family got some macaroni one day. So he'll put like pulled pork in the macaroni, like chopped up and put it right in the macaroni. The macaroni slapped by itself. I can imagine. With the pulled pork in there. And when I took a bite of the macaroni, I was like, man, this is good. I can, I can imagine how it tastes with some barbecue with it. I guess when he pulled out the rib. Put the honey glaze on there. I'm gonna have to come back for some more of that. Man. Mm. No meat left behind. Mm -mm. Y'all, this is a spot right here. James and John Barbecue. James and John Barbecue. They're located in Beaumont, Texas, on 11th Street, right next to a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, this sandwich looks like it's been a slab. <coughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, man look at this, nice toasted bread, I don't know what kind of bread this is, it looks like some, uh, uh, not the garlic bread, but it looks like some Texas toast type bread, it's huge, it's huge, oh yeah, oh yeah, let me flip this over for y'all, I don't want to make too big of a mess, I'm going to tear this up, I, 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 I've been wanting a pulled pork sandwich since I was in Memphis, Tennessee, man. Oh, about two years ago. Man, look at the seasonings on that boy. Look at the seasonings on it. Oh, I hope y'all can see it. I hope so. I'm finna go and get it in. I'm finna go and get it in. Mm, mm. Mm. Okay, so first off, man, it's so tender. I'm talking about it's so tender. The mayo give it a nice. Had a little technical difficulties. Apparently, I wouldn't record. Excuse the hell out of me. Well, what I got here is pulled pork belly. Man, this meat. Let me just show you this real quick. Oh my god. Man, it's so tender. It's so tender. There you go. Come right on off. It's pulled pork belly, so I don't know if that's softer than pulled pork. But man, it's so good. It's so good. You got your lettuce, tomatoes, and plenty of it. And it's so fresh. It's so fresh. And that pulled pork is well seasoned, as you can see. That fresh tomato, oh my God. It just give it life. You're already eating pork. So you know, had that guiltiness in it. But got that fresh, even the lettuce right now is just crunch, crunch, crunch. Yes. Give it, give it. Yo, he hooked me up with some macaroni. You see how seasoned that macaroni is? And it's so creamy. Well seasoned, creamy, cheesy. I don't know, what do you put in here? There y'all go, that's the boy right there. There you go right there, James and John Barbecue. 
around here in Beaumont, Texas, man. Follow him on Instagram and Facebook. He said they do travel, I believe. So uh, maybe they'll pull up in a different city sometimes. So if you want to stay in and uh, know who they are, there you go. They got a nice little logo. Everything's professional. I seen on his license plate it said uh, DV. That's a disabled veteran. So I like to support our veterans. Veterans Day is right around the corner. I'm finna go ahead and take a few bites. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Man. And I usually don't eat pork like this, so, you know. Oh. There's so many flavors. It's like some mayonnaise on the sandwich, too. So I'm getting like this well seasoned, but in the back end, you got that tomato busting you. And then it's like some sweetness. I don't know if it's the bread or if it's that, uh, it gotta be the, the mayo. Maybe it's Miracle Whip and not mayo. They kind of look homemade though. I know he said he made the, all this um, macaroni and cheese from scratch. So this mac and cheese is all from scratch. Wash it down with a little root beer. Don't feel root beer is here. So that was just half the sandwich. And so I'm trying to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? So got the pulled pork belly, lettuce, tomato, and some mayonnaise in there on some uh, toasted bread. Uh, I'm thinking it's... it's uh, sourdough bread on the corn. Everything come together so well. Oh yeah. All right. James and John barbecue. James and John barbecue. Barbecue. Man, out of ten. Man, bro. I want to get them a 10, and that's hard to do. I'm talking about everything hidden. Everything is hidden. Everything is hidden. I'm going to give them a 10. Forget it. It's my first 10 in Beaumont. And we've been going around eating stuff. This is the first 10 I have seen in Beaumont. My boy, James. Huh. Man, make sure y'all follow them, bro. This is delicious. No cap. And the sandwich was huge. I'm struggling. I thought I was just finna smash this sandwich. I probably would have if I wasn't talking. Mm, 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 mm. So damn delicious. I ain't wanna cuss. It's just too good. Yeah. That pulled pork so damn soft. It's soft. It's tender. Juicy. Juicy for Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this one. Tens. I'm gonna go ahead and smash this. Drive on back to the hive. Man, appreciate y'all. Check me out, follow me, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh y'all make sure y'all hit up James, man, if y'all ever in the Beaumont area or if you live in the Beaumont area. Make sure you hit the boy up, man. Come try him out.